Good morning everybody, welcome to uh, another episode of Stay at Home Safaris. Uh, Greg and I are out this morning and I uh, think what we're going to do today is head straight up north and, and try and find the Ottawa Pride again. It's nice to have them back yesterday so while they're around we're going to see if we can find them early and, uh, and active. It's uh, pretty chilly this morning, there's a bit of a cold front coming through uh, South Africa, there's a bit of snow down in the Cape so we can feel the effects of it already this morning. Uh, so hopefully with the cooler temperatures and a nice early sunrise, uh, we'll get some good activity if we can find them. Fantastic start, um, very early on Ali managed to find the, uh, the, the Ottawa Pride once again, um, continuing her golden streak. Uh, without any tracks or any signs we managed to bump into the Ottawa Pride pretty early so as we've arrived they were hunting some impalas which unfortunately they missed but came very close there. So it seems as if they must have had some success last night. Uh, you can see the bit of pink tinge to the, that young male over there. He's just still grooming, cleaning himself, but uh, couldn't have been very big. They're st still looking like they're keen on hunting. Uh, the youngsters have got relatively full bellies, but the adults didn't get too much. So quite typically, after an attempted hunt, uh, the bush is all alert. Uh, impalas gave a few uh, alarm calls. So quite uh, naturally, the, the lions settled down for a short while. Still nice and cool, so lying out in the open in the sun. But uh, as it gets warmer, they'll uh, kind of get up and start looking for some shade. Not sure if they'll move much more today. Um, as I said, they've all got pretty full bellies so they, they look pretty satisfied these uh, youngsters are, are starting to really look quite sizable. Greg and I were just co commenting on on having not seen them now for three or four weeks. It's uh, quite impressive how, mu how much bigger they're looking. Looking like, uh, like real adult lions almost now. Starting to, to assist in the hunts as well, so all looking good for the pride at the moment. Right, well, we were hoping that they would get up and move, potentially, to go and drink. Uh, it's still nice and cool, but 
it seems like they've settled for the for the next little while anyway. Potentially we can come back a bit later and, and see if they're still here uh, and take it from there. But I think we're going to carry on while the air is still nice and cool and, and maybe there's something else happening out there. Well, it's been a little bit quiet since uh, leaving those lions. Uh, it's so nice to see a herd of zebra out here in the, in the thickets. Something seems to have spooked them though and they're taken off down the road. Not sure what it was or if they're just playing, but nice to see them anyway. So giraffe are always a favourite with uh, the guests and, and guides alike. Very nice group of about eight or ten giraffe here. Um, a couple of youngsters too. A great view of a sounder of water out in the clearing there. Still quite a lot of youngsters along uh, with the mothers, but quite interestingly the male um, is amongst the, the females and the, and the youngsters. Not often that you see the, the males together with them. A clear indication that one of the females is uh, coming into season again. But nice to see the difference there between the male and the female. The male warthog has two sets of uh, warts on the side of the, the head uh, whereas the female only has one so quite clearly visible there are the two warts on the male It's so really fantastic uh, to see this again, sort of, probably about a month ago. Uh, but we noticed a couple of vultures really shooting in a wetty direction and, and rushing in, followed where they were going, and, and managed to find the remains of an impala carcass. Not sure what would have caused his demise, so whether it was killed in a in a rutting fight, or quite likely or potentially that male cheetah that we saw a few days ago could be in this area um, they are quite often chased off uh, killed by just the sheer numbers of vultures this is likely to attract uh, other predators so if a, if a cheetah makes a kill they, they will leave it when they get too much attention from vultures really nice to see also in the back there and, uh, lapid faced vulture. Extremely rare vultures in this area, so good to see him coming into the kill as well. So this is exactly the reason why the cheetahs don't hang around when the vultures uh, start descending on the kill. Uh, as I was mentioning, they attract other predators and fortunately for us, Ravenscourt was attracted to, to the kill.
<coughs> so interesting behavior uh, that he actually hasn't had anything to eat yet. Uh, maybe there's not enough uh, food on the carcass left for him, although I still think he'd be interested in his bones. Right, once again, nature's sense of humor kicking in. Uh, obviously, nothing of value there to Ravenscourt, and he's had a quick sniff at the carcass and, and heading off, so we'll see where he goes. Right, so Raven's caught settled down in the drainage line there. We're going to let him be for the for the time being. Um, just going to go and check the clearings and see if that cheetah uh, was in the area that made the kill, and uh, hopefully he's come out and in, into one of the clearings. So we're going to carry on for now and see if we get lucky with the cheetah. Right, so luck is definitely on our side today. Um, we managed to find him out in the, the clearings that he usually comes into when, when he's had a meal. Um, and from the size of his belly, you can almost be certain that that impala that uh, the vultures found was definitely killed by him. He's come south uh, when there were too many vultures and has come out into the clearing to, to lie up for the day. Great vantage point for him. It's got the big open clearings, you can see any danger coming, so you can really relax now uh, and just lie in the shade and digest that meal. Right, so it's uh, been a very successful day with the lions at the beginning, uh, Raven's Court in the middle and then the cheetah to end it off. He's pretty full and, and happy and he's not going to move much. So we're going to call it a day for now. Um, stay safe, stay at home and we'll catch you in the next episode.